I love it so much. It's horrid. Thank you so much. That's the tradition. Hello, and welcome to episode three of the Lights Out podcast. Uh, I'm joined once again by my lovely best friends, James and Jack. How are you guys? How are you, Jack? Who the fuck is Jack? <laughs> I'm good. Jack's making a joke about how I've started to mix up their names because yeah. I'm talking to them both so often, and it would be really helpful if It's I not was... as funny now. I'm sorry, guys. No. I actually haven't drunk in a week, so I'm feeling quite energetic today. Yes, he's not hug over on the podcast. He's Until tomorrow. Up. Until <laughs> tomorrow. When we go out. Tonight. Yeah, so how, how have you guys been? You've not been drinking, so what, what have you been doing to uh, to entertain yourself? Going to the gym. You're literally always at the gym. Yeah. Well, I was drinking at the gym. I've got a better... Oh, that I've seen that video. My Thanks body fat's me. lower than Cristiano Ronaldo's. <laughs> really? Yeah. His is 7%, mine's 5 Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think really you've got good. a six-pack like him, to be honest. No. <laughs> no. Um, right, so it was Shrove Tuesday the other day. Anything spooky happened on um, pancakes? Did you, did, you, did, you like bake, did you bake your pancakes and you flipped it over you and there was like a ghost on it? Well, my flatmate was invited to your flat, Renny, but I wasn't. Oh, well, I did say you could come over and you say, no, I'm going to be with Izzy making pancakes. And then Izzy was at my flat and you weren't. So I, I know, I don't know what happened job. there. I saw them through the window. I was did like, you make oh, pancakes? Invite. Yeah, we made pancakes. Um, where was my invite? Also, where was my invite to the boxing on Saturday? You live so far away, James. If we were to give you an invite, we'd have to get you an Uber over. I drew. I wouldn't no, have left at five I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll start inviting you to everything. It's just um, just because you. you live so far. Um, so it's Lent now. Um, are, you, are, you, are you giving anything up for 30 days, Jack? No. For, uh, 40, 40 days. days. It's, 40, oh, it's 40. 40. I don't know. It it's a religious it. thing. <laughs> is, is, Lent, is Lent the Christian version of like Ramadan? Because Ramadan, so, you give Ramadan, up food. Just, Ramadan, yeah, you, you give up food during certain hours of the day. Like yeah. You don't eat until. Oh sundown. right, yeah. Whereas Lent, it's just like you just you just don't do it. Yeah. You give something up. I don't know how it started though. Right. Okay. Fair enough. This week we have on a guest that, for the first time, none of us have actually ever really had a conversation with. Like, is, it's a ghost. <laughs> yeah. So we we were like we we put out into the group chat. Does anyone have a ghost story? Uh, and this person called Cold that none of us had ever really met before was like, yeah, we, yeah, we do. Oh, I do. We, and do. We, <laughs> we do. We does. No, he was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be so good because if if he's decided to come on this, I'm I'm expecting big things. <laughs> Or he's just having us on. He's gonna chat shit. Yeah, yeah, he's just having us on. He's just like, I've got, I've got nothing. No, but um, yeah, I'm, re- I'm, I'm really excited. Are you guys excited to have this? Uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited. I'm, I am It'll buzzing. I, I, just, I actually can't wait any longer. So let's go get him. And here he is. This is I'm Alex. <laughs> No, here he is. You don't this understand is... how many times I've heard that and it upsets me every time. <laughs> <laughs> you wear pink and you had pink hair when you first came to uni. Oh, how about that? I was waiting until we were recording to make the joke. No, yeah. it's not I'm Alex, it's Cole Rothery. Hello, Cole. Yeah, Hello, I'm Alex. Alex is a go- uh, B-Tech Cole. Yeah, that's right. the one, that's the one. I'll take that. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I mean, I'm a bit tired because I actually attended lectures today, but... Yeah. Oh, Oop. Oop. beef. Uh, James did. did. Yeah, James did. Yeah, James did. I was at the uni earlier. I mean, just as the lecture started, I went home and then... Came back just as it finished for this. Oh, you're odd. Yeah. No. We move. <laughs> we move. Um, okay, so how do you feel to be on this podcast? Yeah, I mean, I, I like going on podcasts and stuff because just talking to people about oh, it's just pretty entertaining. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun. sound of his voice. And what... <laughs> oh, oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what What made you decide to respond to our call to, call to action asking you to uh, join us? What made you think, oh, I'll do that? How drunk were you? Um, <laughs> no, no, to be fair, I just... I had a pretty weird story, and I just thought you guys might find it entertaining. So. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, give it us. Give it us, Cole. I want to hear right, it. Right now, right now. This is going to end right up now. like Jack's um, question for the Hattie's podcast. Oh, wait, no, wait. He, wait, big, he bigged it up you so much. Yeah. I didn't and even He was up. like, I can't tell anyone. Like, oh, maybe, if, <laughs> maybe one of the girls should ask it. Yeah, well, was, wait, it must be something. You lot bigged it up. No, you just... bigged it up. You got so scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I uh, wasn't scared. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll give them a shout out. If you if you like this podcast, there's another podcast that's being recorded in this room that's also going on utter. Um, Spill Jody, the tea. Jody Spill and Hattie, the tea. spill the tea. We would have them on this podcast to promote it, but neither of them have got a scary story. So, unfortunately. I think it's on Saturday at six on utter. Yeah. It's a, it's about it's just about gossip. Yeah. They I want think. me as a guest. They want you as a guest. Yeah. Oh, they want you as a guest. They don't want us as a guest because because <laughs> oh, no. I think Hattie will maybe like you. <laughs> Everyone likes me. That's fair enough. Jody you are, said it as well. He you, you, you are pretty good. I like you a little bit. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. That's right. Okay, before we get onto your um, story, which I'm dying to hear, we have a base question, or I have a base question that I liked. Oh, a couple of them. Okay. First of all, are you religious? 
That's a very dodgy question. Um, I'm so I sort of grew up with Christian sort of background, but I'm not like a full believer. I believe in something, just not necessarily God. Right. That's a bit like how James was, and then you've sort of come more into it. Yeah, I believe in like the energy. Like there must be something past out there. Like that we must be here for a reason. There's something. There's something yeah. going on. You think? Yeah. I right. think sort of my belief around that is. The entire universe had a beginning at some point, and mm-hmm. the beginning didn't come from nowhere, so something did that. Have yeah, you looked into like we're being a, simu- a simulation. Like, that's, this is all just that's what that's what Elon Musk thinks. Yeah. He, he's actually petrified that we're in a simulation because he proper believes it, and he's a smart guy. Yeah, but he'll be the one that discovers we're not, or we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, maybe Ooh. that's why he's scared. Maybe because it's on his shoulders. About it, gonna be like yeah, Sims Row Three where we hack the simulation. Yeah, because maybe when we find yeah, out Sims where we just drown our kids in the pool. <laughs> um, okay, so you're so, you're like you're like kind of religious. Um, yeah. Uh, next one is actually no. I'll, I'll ask you that question once you tell us the story. So all right. the mic's all yours. The room's yours. The ghost the stage are leaving is now, just to give you a, your own privacy. So please. Yeah. Um, us. So basically, the story started at my uh, my well, my, she's, I call her my nana, but she's like my grandma. Mm-hmm. It started at my nana's house, and I went there as like a kid. I think I was like maybe six, seven. Mm-hmm. Um, I went there and I was I was with my mum and my nana and my nana had been complaining about her back hurting because she had like really bad back problems mm. and she, um, my mum went out to the shed to get uh, this uh, old chair that belonged to my great grandma right. and she brought the chair in and uh, was this was this your grandma's mother yeah yeah right. that, it was hers and it was her chair she brought the chair and she put the chair down and uh, apparently I said oh that's great grandma's chair. I'd never met her, spoke to her, or seen that chair in my life. And I, that, I, I just said that to my mum. My mum was like, what? And I was like, that's great grandma's chair. And she was like, how do you, like, how do you know that? And I was like, apparently I said she told me. Whoa. Uh, yeah. That's a bit weird. And then they were like, because obviously I'd never seen her or anything, there was a massive wall of photos and they were like, oh, could you point out great grandma? And I literally pointed straight to her and pointed her out on the thing. Like, I'd oh never God. seen her. See, legit. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's that, that, that's one of the best ones we've really? had so far. Is that is that where it ends, or is there anything else? Well, apparently I'd like I'd like a little conversation with her, and I'd like spoken. I, I, I like as, if, as she told me that that was her chair. How old were you? Like six or seven. Do you remember oh, it? Goodness. Did she die like before you were born? Yeah, I'd, I'd never spoken to her or seen her, or no one had told me about her or that chair in my entire life. Right. Okay. How many people were in the picture that you pointed out? Um, like quite a few. It was like a massive wall of pictures, and they just said, "Can you point out great grandma?" And I literally pointed straight to her first time, like That's no legit. questions. Yeah, that is. That is oh, do you believe it now? Do I believe it now? So, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say I go that far, but that is. That is like. That is the best. That's what. probably the best story I've had so far. Yeah, I would say. It's pretty um, spooky. Especially the fact that like because th- that then my first my first argument as someone who doesn't believe. Just by the way, in, in, just in case you wanted to know, the whole sort of. Um, chemistry of, of yeah the dynamic of this show <laughs> is that these yeah. two believe in ghosts and I don't believe in ghosts um, yeah. and like any, anything like that so um, the first argument that someone like me would say to that is that that's that's like a spooky coincidence but it got to a point where he, he kept on telling us anecdotes about it and even that for that that for a minute, that is like really bad mm-hmm. so you don't have any recollection of this like conversation no no like, I'm, i don't have any recollection of it like i re- sort of remember like um the them getting the out. chair out and stuff but i don't remember like the actual conversation or obviously like apparently speaking to my great grandma well, did what? you say so, like how old you were when you actually had the conversation with your great grandma like, no did, no that, that was wasn't it, was mentioned. it like a recent thing or was it like oh like a couple years ago no no i think that. apparently it was like a sort of a recent thing like a or whatever like at the time obviously yeah and apparently like i, I had like spoken to like great grandma or something and, like said that that was like uh, her chair which I found like really weird. Like I, I always remember the story because I remember like when my mum told me how like weird I found it because I sort of remembered it, but I sort of didn't. Mm. And it just always stuck with me like how weird that was. The fact that I knew that was her chair, have never seen her in my entire life or them told me about that chair even existing. Like I could not see how that <coughs> was. I could not see how I knew that. Yeah, like pointing out the picture, like you could be yeah. completely random. Like you just yeah. got lucky and pointed yeah, it like, out. I was six but, or seven. I had no I idea. Sure. That oh, but the chair coming out like, yeah, the chair coming out and you'd be like, oh, great grandma's. <laughs> like, even now, I'd be like, oh, that's great grandma's. I'd be like, yeah. oh, that's my grandma's chair. Like, you just assume it was your grandma's chair. Yeah. Because it was at our house. What what kind of chair was it? Uh, I don't know. It was, like it was something chair. with like, a special uh, like, back support or whatever. Right. Um, so, when did you find out about, like, that you said this? 
did your parents always tell you or was it like a, when well, you Well, my mum sort of um, talked to me about it um, when, probably when I was like 12, 13 or whatever the first time. She just kind of casually brought it up. Yeah. But it really stuck with me because it, it was just really weird and I couldn't sort of... Because I'm not like... I'm not a believer in ghosts, but I'm also not one to say that they don't exist. So it really stuck yeah. with me of how the hell did I know you that? Grasp the concept. Of yeah. Why so you do that, know that 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 was the question I was going to ask you about. I was I've saved till after you've told your story. What what do you th- do you think that was like an experience? Do you think maybe it was just a coincidence, or do you, do you, is there some part of you that thinks that because you were told this story that maybe it was like exaggerated or anything like that? Or do you like what what do you think about it? Do you well, think that it, maybe you had contact with your grandma, or like what's your perception of it? Well, the thing is that I know the story is sort of like it is pitch perfect clear because when I spoke to my nana about it separately, like I didn't I, like tell her mm-hmm. about it or anything, she told me the exact same story. Right. Like a complete yep. recollection of the events. And she said she found it just as weird as I did. And apparently my nana was like more freaked out because she was like, what, how, mm-hmm. how would you know that? Yeah, that, that's when for me, as someone who's like a bit of a skeptic, that's when it starts to become as soon as two people say the same story because my, my sister who we've, we've told the story about this um paper mache doll uh that, that they had that they threw at the wall and stuff and i actually i i, I, I didn't know what she was talking about at the time but we've spoken about it since because she asked me if i told it on the uh, podcast which hasn't come out yet um and i said yeah i had done and then she started to describe it to me again and i was like oh i actually remember this and i i i have since been looking it up and it's something like a it's a it was a mexican folk art um paper mache doll and i do fully like remember it um and i remember being scared about it but she's told me stories about it now and i was thinking my sister like exaggerates a bit and she's a bit dramatic no offense um so so when she was telling me about it i was like oh yeah that's really scary and in my mind i'm like if it was true that'd be really scary but i don't know if i can like believe you because i don't know like how but then she the person who it happened with because it didn't just happen to her it was like her and her friends that used to live in this annex or that they didn't live with her but they were always there um because they were like her best friends and she's obviously got her own place so they would just always go there so they they, call it an annex now now you've learned yeah i've learned that it's an annex um (laughs) gotta keep those terms going yeah um so that they they basically live there and then um i got a separate message from one of the friends who listened to the podcast because my sister was like you should listen to this podcast that my brother's doing being a supportive sister and then she was like oh has l told you that story because the podcast that i spoke about it hasn't come out yet she was like oh has l told you about the story about the paper mache doll that just wouldn't break and that's when it's like, as soon as two people say the same thing, that's when I start to get like yeah. butterflies. It's like, oh, that's so weird that's that you, like because it's not just one person who's made like a yeah. made up a story, and they're yeah. trying to like it's two well, people have the same memory of something happening. That's when it's like, okay, something's happened then. I've sort of got a story which links into this because um, okay. I was because obviously my mum has been watching the podcast and she's been messaging me like with all these spooky things that have happened. Big up Michelle. And she um, knows loads now after you asked the first week. Just she, <laughs> I know, she's like, nah. She was hiding she them everyone. all. She was saying that this might not. Lovely woman. This is basically the gist. So basically, in the town where I, I live, there used to be a massive steelworks. Oh, and my great granddad um, wor- worked in the steelworks. Um, and he died um, whilst he was working. Well, he didn't die whilst he was working, but he. Mm-hmm. Died. Something happened at work, and later on, a few weeks later, he died. And apparently, when he died at the exact right time, my, her daughter, so um, no, her wife, my great gran, um, had a knock at the door. She was at home when it happened, I think. Right. And there was a knock on the door, and also her sister got a knock at the same time as well, in a different house, and they both mentioned it to each other. But like a knock on what? There was like a knock, and there was, well, there, no, there was one no one there. Was no one there. Yeah, no one was there. They both. It was got like him just coming home from work, like knocking. Yeah, yes. but but sort of like that. Mm. But obviously, yeah. But that was when he died. Yeah, so they both. Weird. But they both experienced it, and they both told each other, and they, like... Jack, your family's a bit haunted. I oh, know, it's a bit spooky. Oh, that reminds mm. me, I've actually got a separate story as well. Oh, I love this. Yeah, no, um, I, I can't remember the details of this one vividly. Mm-hmm. Um, so so I, I, I sort of tread my way through it trying to remember. But um, basically, my great-granddad, before, um, be, like, he died before I was born, but, like, the story of, like, when he died like, is also really weird, because basically... Um, my mum was pregnant with me at the time, obviously, and they hadn't found out the gender of the baby yet. Mm-hmm. And like, um, sort of... I still haven't. Have they found out? I was, I was just about to say, have they found out yet? <laughs> a bit late. <laughs> no, but that's actually part of the story, because basically, um, he was obviously, he was like very ill. He was like in and out of like, you know, whether or not mm-hmm. he was going to, how, how long he was going to have to live. And um, he like wanted to know like the, uh, the gender of the baby, because they, they hadn't found that out yet. 
and sort of he was he was really ill for a long time that he was they don't really know like how long how he was hanging on that long or whatever mm-hmm. and the my mum called up and spoke to him after like he had this prolonged period of time he was very ill for a long time mm. and like my mum called him up and spoke to him and they spoke about the or i don't know if it was my mum that called him up or someone told him about the gender of the baby yeah but the night after he found out the gender of the baby he died oh my god like he was holding on just for that one moment yeah that's what they said because he was he was really ill for a long time and they don't know sort of how he lasted that long and he was he was always like curious about the baby and trying to ask about like the pregnancy and stuff and the night after he found out the gender of the baby he passed away i think that's quite a common thing like especially when you're on your deathbed like holding on for like to see that last family member Mm -hmm. or stuff like that but yeah that's pretty sick talking about that Mm -hmm. um when my mum was pregnant with me i think she visited like a psychic medium um, right and which is something that your family like does yeah right. well i guess because you, um, you told us on the on the pilot episode that that, that you'd done that before and the medium said that i'd be a girl he so was it, right <laughs> I, knew I was waiting for someone was, to, I was say waiting that. to say yeah. that <laughs> I, I was like james is gonna say something i was so meant to be a girl that just proves that well, my mom was be. proves Being, that what mediums are yeah. wrong no it proves that we are impartial as a podcast what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> oh what well, well, are you telling yeah. a story of when mediums so, can, can be wrong yeah so they were wrong obviously <clears throat> yeah, Are you, you're the middle child, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I was. I was. I, I clicked then, and it was. It was like. Oh, that so was I was thinking. Bad. Just <laughs> fingers. Yeah, I'm the middle child. I don't Is know. He, um, oh, yeah. me. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've told any of you guys before, but if I was going to be a girl, my parents are going to call me Ella, but my brother's called Sam, so it would have been Sam and Ella. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> so lucky I was a boy. That's bad. It's lucky your last name's not Chicken. My. <laughs> <laughs> How many people with the last name do you know, Chicken? Yeah. One. Tom Chicken. Went to my school. Squeezing in. There was a kid with the last name Chicken. Yeah, Tom Chicken. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Um, He's a bit weird. My, <laughs> my girlfriend's family have been to see a medium, and I don't know really what it is that they spoke about because it was like a while ago. Um, but the one thing that I heard about it was that the medium said that um, the people that because my girlfriend's family is just the parents and the two daughters so my girlfriend and her sister and the medium said the partners that your children are in they will stay in for like the, the rest of their lives and oh, then they partly got that wrong then well yeah so, so <laughs> right so that's, so that's what i was thinking no so so um Sorry, holly's uh sister's still been going out with the boyfriend ever since and then me and holly had a bit of a like a rough patch but the, I, I was starting to think like well there you go so mediums just aren't aren't true and then me and holly are back together again and it's just sort of like oh well that's still going that's like the only one thing i've ever heard a medium say and it's still true like three years later is it sort of a bit weird thinking about like obviously they've said that and then you guys are still together and you're thinking oh well, what if they're right or whatever it's the only reason she's staying with them <laughs> yeah she's like well it must be true so i've <laughs> yeah, got she, to she's like oh well you know i'm, <laughs> I'm stuck now yeah, I'm stuck. Luck. yeah but surely Me- medium said you so. could decide to break up and that proves it wrong exactly but i but i'm not going to i know like, like, like right now to prove a medium to... wrong is not exactly the way to go <laughs> yeah do it no. for the podcast <laughs> For the content. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Hal. Uh, no, I'm it's not that cool. Cool. Yeah, that was a great story, Cole. That, that was an amazing story. I really liked that one. I think that's the best one. That's like the first one that's really got me like spooked. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, that is that. that I don't know. I've been spooked since I heard it. Like, yeah. I just find it really weird because. What does your mum think about it? Well, she obviously found it was really weird, but she sort of. She she sort of believes in in some of that stuff mm-hmm. and whatever, and I, I I'm sort of indifferent. I'm I'm not saying like. There is something because I don't know if there is, but I'm not saying it isn't because I, I feel like I'd be ignorant. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was re- it was really weird for me and sort of thinking back at it now, I'm sort of like, I, I want to know because obviously I just want to know like, it did I have that conversation? Is yeah. that real? How did I know that? Like. And I and I and I'm not being stubborn. That's kind of one of the whole reasons I wanted to do this. I'm not just saying, oh, there's not ghosts because I think there's not ghosts and that's it. Like yeah, pro- playing devil's advocate. Exactly. I'm not. Yeah. It's it's more of a sort of like. Um, I feel like a lot of people are brought up thinking that ghosts are real because the parents think it. But my parents were like, yeah, play off as well. my my oh. mum my mum kind of does, my dad kind of doesn't. Um, and so I kind of I, I was I was brought up, and my, and my my grandma's like really religious, and she believes in like spirits and everything, and like angels. Just like she's got angels in her garden and stuff mm. like that. And I was I was brought up, but I was also kind of always going down the religion um going down the path of um like atheism. And so I didn't really believe in any of it. And I've got to the age where it's sort of like. If I was to believe in ghosts, it was because I choose to. I would. I, I wouldn't be opting yeah. out of, of believing in ghosts. It's opting in. And yeah. so to opt in, I want to like. I want some proof. And do I haven't. You, I haven't. I haven't, do you think I haven't as seen technology 
as technology like increases and improves, do you mm-hmm. reckon we're more likely to see, like, imagine if, like, now, yeah. your family will probably be recording you do that shit. Yeah. Like, someone's got or a if ca- like, camera out all the time, yeah. but, like, CCTVs yeah, but and stuff. With like, cameras, yeah. how can you prove it's not... Staged? No, but, like, you could prove him having a conversation, I mean. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's because of the advance of technology, people at this point are like, oh well, if ghosts were real, we'd be able to prove it. And stuff. I, but I feel like because there's no way to know, or at least at this time, there's, there's no way to know. It it makes it so much harder for people to yeah. believe, and it yeah, makes it easier just... for people to fake stuff. Yeah, exactly. So. Like like one of the things that I came to this uni to do um, is like I'm I've been pr- pretty interested. <laughs> <laughs> Why I've would been... you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've always been pretty interested, and for right. like years and years, I've been doing editing on like little silly projects, and now I want to come here to do it properly. Yeah, I've seen so, your uh, spooky YouTube video. Oh, thank you. And I also found your twelve-year-old YouTube account. Oh, I know I saw <laughs> that the other day. Shout That's out. embarrassing. <laughs> um, Just type in Rennie Brown to YouTube. <laughs> Just delete them. I can't. It's not, it's not a thing. That I don't have any. No. Nah. Oh, it's one of those old accounts you can't get a password. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's really embarrassing. It's not. That's why I deleted it. Hundred views on this can podcast. I'll like release it. And say that, oh, this is me, but I didn't consent to this content. Like, oh, maybe. I'm not. I'm not that ass. Wait, to be honest, it's from so. It's from yeah, so long ago. It's, it's not. not it's not even me. It's me when I was a kid. It's not the same person. That's why I deleted all my YouTube videos. Yeah. Oh my god. Can we not? Oh no! Show it to the camera. That's why I got bullied at, in Spain. <laughs> yeah, pe- people in Spain used to call me mop. Got a thumbnail. <laughs> mop top. That's a thumbnail. No, it's not. <laughs> the thumbnail's going to be you. You and us. Picture we take later. Um. Anyway, where was I? Oh, I was going to say something else. We were on about. Um... Oh yeah, no editing, editing. Sorry, just quickly. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, just because I'll forget <laughs> about it. Otherwise. Quickly, cut him off. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We can come back to that in a second. Because yeah. uh, because I like I I can edit stuff whenever I see like stuff now with like captured ghosts on camera. Whenever I see them, I'm like I could do that. Like I could make that. Yeah, that you never know. Like, it, there's a very thin line between what's real and what's not. Yeah, there, there is. There is. There is. There is. Thing now, you literally can doctor fucking anything. Mm. Like, yeah, like if there they is. Can do it legally. And there is a chance that murder. if ghosts exist, which I don't think we do, but yeah, there is a chance that if ghosts exist, there is footage of it that is on YouTube that people are saying, "Look at this ghost thing." But because it's so easy to fake it now, people are just like, "No." Yeah, I feel like believing in ghosts is very similar to sort of religion of sort of it's of faith. You will never know or not know, at mm. least for the foreseeable future. So it's you can decide whether or not you want to believe that or not. I feel the like idea if, is passed down until you have enough evidence yourself. Yeah. I feel like if something... I, I don't think I would ever believe until something... You fuck with a ghost. But I don't understand. <laughs> you, until something happens to me. You'd get scared if you were in a haunted place and something spooky happened, yet you still will not believe. I don't... No, why, because, why would you be scared if there's nothing to, scare, to be scared I would, by? No, I, I, I would be scared because I'm scared of the dark because... Why? Because he's scared of what's not in the dark. dark. Not, not just ghosts in I the dark. I proved this last week. He's scared of what's in the dark. No, I think I proved that it's, I'm scared of the dark as a concept. Nothing's wrong with the dark. It's just well, a human thing. Well, it's it's, it's, it's scared human. by cold story. Um, I wasn't scared by it. I was in. It was like because it wasn't really that scary. Yeah, it I was like it was more the difference it between you, scared like, between like that and a poltergeist story. No, no, no. It was a really good story. It was a story that was like like spirits and like ghosts and that. But it wasn't like it wasn't like it was haunted by his by his like great grandma. He's basically calling you a liar. <laughs> no, saying, I'm, saying it didn't happen. I'm saying I'm saying that it was an, I'm saying it was a good story, but it wasn't like there were some stories that were like I was like attacked by a ghost. That's like a scary story, but that one was sort of like a nice story. Yeah. Just like he has a connection with his grandma. Have you seen Paranormal Great Activity? Great grandma. I haven't seen Paranormal Activity. Is Watch that it. is that the um, the films? Yeah, I've heard that they're really bad though. The first one's good. I think then they kind of milked it a lot yeah. and played off the actual paranormal. But I thought the first one was like based on actual true story. Oh. Anyway, I cut it you off. It seems to happen in America though. Always. It's never in like Morrison's, it's always in, the, in a it's dark never room. In in Morrison's. Like, <laughs> never in Morrison's. Never in You never see like, oh, saw a ghost in Morrison's. It's always like in a dark room in like a oh, corridor or something. It's like an old I, castle or some I, fucking old. I, yeah. I've seen Sorry, a couple of videos online that went viral that was like in a, like a bar that was full of people. It didn't look like a scary bar, just like a regular pub. And so something happened like a glass just like that was just sat there, just moved and then fell. I've that seen would, like library books move on videos and stuff like that. But. That would definitely happen in my mate's bar. It's like proper like gothic fucking old yeah. rock. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> talking about the like clairvoyancy and like predicting what stuff. What does that mean? Like predicting right, the okay. future. So basically, apparently, mum told me this. Um, Fresh content. I love Michelle's story. I know. She's telling me that I need to speak to Pauline, but I haven't yet. I Michelle to, brings the content. Um, and ask her because apparently... Michelle's his mum, Pauline's his grandma. Yeah. Apparently, she um, she went to Pauline like in the 60s when she was mm-hmm. pregnant with my mum and my uncle. Um, she went to like one of these like mediums. And mum and your uncle twins? Yeah, that's it. No, twins. but they were born Same time. similar. Right, okay. Well, yeah. And um, they told uh, Pauline the dates that 
mum and Craig, who's my uncle, mm-hmm. would be born, and they were both three weeks earlier, three weeks off the due date, and the clairvoyant knew like the genders and that they'd both be born on that date three weeks before they were meant to. I mean, they've got a 50-50 chance of gender. I know, yeah, the gender three weeks. Like, <laughs> and they got it wrong with you. Flip a coin. <laughs> it wasn't the same person. This was like 40 years before, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's just the other side of it to make sure we're not biased. Yeah, so but we've got we've got stories of mediums being right and stories. Maybe there are some me- mediums that are really in touch, and there are some that are just faking it. Just is for it the, derived for longer. from witchcraft? Then I don't know. We're I don't know the history. I feel like it's very easily exploited because of the nature of it. Like, I feel like it's not in a way that I'm trying to like say that it's rubbish, but I feel like it's kind of maybe, especially if you've got like the really naff ones that are, that haven't actually got anything they're just doing it for the money maybe yeah like like a you're walking with a t-shirt and have abandoned the like you're a fan of acdc yeah exactly <laughs> it's, it's like it's a bit it's a bit like um the like the horoscope um, what stuff what do they call it cold just, reading or something like that yeah like yeah oh yeah reading, where they get readings. like the cards and they'll tell you about certain stuff i'm yeah, quite interested there's, there's, cold, card, there's card reading cold reading cold i think readings. that's what oh, it's called, called where yeah. they where they, they ask you questions and then they respond by making it look like they're telling you stuff but it's actually you telling so there's like loads of like skilled yeah, yeah, fakes, yeah. yeah. And I feel like I, that's just sort of knowing yeah, just how to deal with YouTube, people. Yeah. And I feel like it, it it could be part of like you know like horoscopes that are like quite vague. Yeah, like hor- like horoscopes. Are you like, can believe what you'll you'll, yeah. you, you'll 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 you'll, you'll have a great day year. sometime this week. So get ready for it and enjoy it whilst it's happening. Within the like, next sixty years, you'll end up going out with someone. Yeah, it's like it's the same as fortune. Just like if like a sixty-year-old goes there, yeah, and you're like, within the next thirty years, I think you might be on the ropes. Was it you that said that you have a deal with your... No, it was Aiden. No, it's Aiden. Aiden's Aiden. got a deal. Though. Yeah, our last guest on the show said he's got, an, he's got a, um, a deal with his grandmother if she dies and that she actually becomes a ghost and can haunt people to do, do, do one thing to Aiden to, to let him know that she's there. and then just Let to, yourself known. And then fuck okay. off. And then make yourself known. That's also kind of nice, actually. Yeah. Like, sort of... Let me know that you're there. Yeah, but maybe they can't. That you're not involved. Yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe may, not. Yeah, maybe they can't. Maybe they just like... Have you ever seen Ghost? No. No. The movie. No. Is that the one with the the um scene pottery. with the pottery? Yeah. I've heard people talk about that scene, I don't know why. It's, it's a pretty good movie, but basically scene, he has to he uses his energy to move stuff. Right. And sometimes ghosts just don't have enough energy. Oh. That's yeah. according cool to the concept. movie. What sort of, is that based on like you know sort of value of life or like what? I don't know, but there's a bit where he like moves a penny or a cent or whatever it is across right. the table, but he has to use all of his energy for it. Mm-hmm. With, with your religious beliefs, do you believe in like Good energy, bad energy is what you gets you in. Um, I, I I sort of, I don't know. I believe certain people do bring about a good and a bad energy because you'll have some people that will have a negative effect on your life and some people that will have a positive. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like that's it's not necessarily down to whether or not sort of you get on with that person or not because you cannot get on with someone and then still be like you know in a room with them and stuff. But I believe there is certain people you just you know can't be in a room with or whatever because they bring a certain mm. negative energy yeah. to you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that, when that, a certain that, flat member walks in. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> you can't say that. Can she's, she's probably listed. Just, just she's believe it. I've got her on Instagram. <laughs> just believe it, it out and it in. Right, okay, so... Um, Jack, what is your story this week that you want to tell us? It's basically... Um, as part of the homework that we had to do for another module on the course, we had to listen to a podcast. Yeah, I remember. And this podcast was to do with the Enfield Poltergeist, poltergeist is right. what you say. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it basically about in the 70s, um, this poltergeist was haunting this house and these two girls, and it had like voices, and they captured it on audio and stuff, and they couldn't find any way of proving it as fake. Like, right. They looked everywhere for like hidden strings and stuff, and stuff were like flying around the room. And I think the photographer, photographer, fa- like took a photograph of this girl levitating, mm-hmm. and it was all like they couldn't prove it was fake. And they, to this day, it still remains unsolved. Is that like one of the biggest like piece of evidence? Yeah, for, like, it's like the stuff. most famous poltergeist like activity right. ever. Is there any way like is is that is the you say obviously you can probably find the pictures on like Google Images, yeah. but can, could you could you could we find the audio? Yeah. Um, what was it? He said it was like, Rap. and then he was sort of saying it's it. It's a dog. No, so he's sort of saying, I've forgotten the name. It was Morris. Morris. That does sound like Morris. Morris Gross, and he was like, Rush, Rush, like that. He does sound like a Morris. Yeah. And then as it got more, he started speaking for like ages and became more like confident as a ghost. And he was like joking with them and stuff like that. It's really interesting to oh. listen to. Oh my god. Um, but um, yeah, they still haven't proved it to this day um, that it was fake. They, there was like loads of people went in the house because there was like public interest and all the people like even proper like skeptics like you they mm. came out believing because there was just no way of proving it wow. was fake 
and it's just interesting. Well, like that's it. that's that's what we need to get on. Right, okay, so that was that was your story, the Enfield Poltergeist. guys. That's really interesting. I want to. Really re- I want to research that for next week. James, have you got something to tell us? Yes. Yeah. You've done uh, your homework. I do it every week. Thank you. I did it about ten minutes ago. To be fair. I feel like a teacher. Um, so in 1906, off the coast of a great city called Vancouver. Right. Yep. Where he lived in Vancouver, by the way, yeah, twenty doesn't he? Yeah, for two years. Um, nice. There was a cruise ship that went down in the sea, and I think like 107. Was this recently? No, 1906. Okay. So. Other day. The yeah. other day, <laughs> last week. Yeah. Um, and a cruise ship went down, and um, so they go get, get all the lifeboats out, and one of the lifeboats goes missing, mm-hmm. and there's like I think there's like 36 people on it, and so they never found this lifeboat, never anything, but. Um, Fishermen say still to this day that they see a lifeboat with skeletons on it, like rolling around in the like location. I think it's off like Cape something, but I can't remember the actual thing. Right, is it like a physical like boat with skeletons? Maybe it just. Or is it a ghost boat? Like like the ghosts of Flying Dutchman, like Flying Dutchman, kind of like that kind of. Maybe it is the actual boat. Have you ever seen SpongeBob? Have you ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean? Caribbean? Yeah, that's um, I've seen the first Pirates of the Caribbean. Spooky like everyone remembers it from that, but like it is an actual thing. Yeah, as well. it's a. It's Go on, an, t- t- tell me about that. What? Um, what Flying Dutchman. Dutchman. It's is it pirate? I'm, yeah. I'm going off Pirates of the Caribbean, so it'd be a pirate ship that was went down and it roams around, right? And like takes down other ships and the Flying Dutchman. Um, you have to so pay. So it's you, like a ghost pirate ship. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you pay basically. a debt to the Dutchman. Um, so you go work on his ship for life, like right. If you, like fucked around or yeah it's sort of like um sort of if you sort of fuck with the flying dutchman like your debt is then eternally being on his boat like doing whatever he wants like his his sort of thing was he had like um a load of like skeleton workers and stuff like literally like um like obviously in some like movies they sort of exaggerate it been like them dripping like rotten flesh and stuff but it was genuinely supposed to be like sort of corpses working for him and then he'd go rob other boats not of like um like money or whatever but of like their crew mm. and you'd get like boats that are just be like floating around with no one in them like completely crew missing just from like out of nowhere right. but the boat like in Pirates of the Caribbean it can go underwater and stuff and come up like it's not it's like an actual physical boat right and that's really spooky I think that's, yeah like the idea of a boat with no one on it like yeah. has anyone seen that the film The Triangle no mm. is that based on triangle. the Bermuda Triangle yeah, I always found that weird. It was sort of, of it's like it's quite a good movie. Is? I know what the beam in a triangle is. Okay. Basically How do you explain that? This woman Shut up, I'll explain it repeats it. herself again and again and then she sees her past self doing stuff and she and it's like a triangle. She goes onto a boat somehow and there's no one on it. And then she ends up in a car it's a really good movie. It's mm. called Triangle, I think. I think it's on Netflix. It's technically mm. you never see your current self. Yeah. Well In a mirror? Yeah. I'm seeing my current self just now. There it is. You never see no, you Never seen an actual perception of yourself. Like, you've never seen what you truly look like. Well, yeah, I'm seeing the arms. What's your face look like? Looks if like I, that. If I'm I go on the camera. Right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, but that's a, cam- that's a camera's perspective of what Yeah, I know, because like. my eyes are on my face. Yeah, well, the yeah. mirror. And it's like you can never hear your own voice. Yeah, but a mirror is always backwards. You never. You, you can literally, it's impossible to see you the way someone else does. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. No, there's some, you know, in the SU, mm-hmm. there's some mirrors, and they're like that, and one of them reflects one of the mirrors, so you're actually seeing yourself the right way. And it's really like, like fucks me. It's like where's that in the SU toilets? Oh, over at Peel. Oh, oh right, yeah, So yeah, apparently, yeah. The, tonight, that entire problem has been solved yeah, by the <laughs> SU toilets. <laughs> Bang! Thank you, SU toilets. It's Thank you, cool. atmosphere. Which is the name of our SU. Big okay. up, so we're off tonight, then, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna <laughs> say, wrong on. <laughs> what if that ghost lifeboat with skeletons in is actually just the lifeboat with skeletons in? What it is? Oh yeah. But like the skeletons is like moving. Surely, if it was an actual but like a lifeboat with skeletons, and someone would have you know like pulled it in or something, gone up to it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. What like, the are they massive, scared, scared of it or what? Are they just come oh, no, up to it and only, like it's only fishermen that say they see it. Like yeah, fishermen. But if they had seen it, like fishermen have been seen for fucking ages. Like, dodgy fishermen. It's the whole thing about where <laughs> mermaids came from that they were actually um, what was it they were actually sea lions or something on yeah. rocks, and that oh, fishermen, yeah, fishermen the... actually just thought they were women or unattractive. That it's just like it's just like a woman with a big with one foot as a tail. Yeah, quickly. Can I just go back to the Flying Dutchman? Because what yeah. I thought was really interesting about that story is the fact that the whole reason it came about is because of the fact they were just finding entire boats with just crews missing of people, like that entire so crews. Weird. It's yeah, like, like how, like, because that, that, that probably, that probably did happen because it was like the pi- pirate ships is like around like British ships, isn't it? Like British army yeah. ships. Yeah. So why would they lie? It's probably just piracy, like people like stealing them, but at the same time, just like leaving them. That is so creepy. Yeah, but just like, having like a boat an there with entire no one on boat it. that did have people on it. 
and the fact that that boat's not sunken, they're not found yeah. dead. There is no evidence of those people still being there. Like no corpses, no nothing. Just yeah. entire groups of people just gone from a boat. But yeah, how long can a ship? This. How long can a ship stay in one place without getting like pulled away yeah, by yeah. tide and stuff? Depends, like, if they put their anchor down, I don't know. Yeah, I don't well, know. obviously, I don't know. Like, also, anch- anchors like, don't work in the middle of the sea. Right. Do they not? Okay. Well, no, because you're not going to get an anchor that goes all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, but pirates are around like Caribbean, aren't they? There's like that's not that deep around Caribbean. That's Somalia as well, other places. Yeah, oh, but yeah, it like suppose. depends where you are. Because if you're like in the middle of the ocean, it's obviously Should not going to work. Okay, think about so weird. Like think of how long an anchor needs to be and the way you need to store it. For the majority of I'm, not saying people put, I'm not saying people put their anchor down in the bloody Mariana Trench, but like the, the whole point of an anchor is to keep you in the same place. Like when we go out to sea in in, in Spain, Wait, obviously so you know the, about, the you Mediterranean know about Mariana Trench, but you don't know where Vancouver was. I've got. I know Vancouver's in. It's not even the capital. Like it's like. Do you know where? Do you know where? Um. Do you know which side of Spain Valencia's in? Yeah. yeah. Which one? East. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, he said it. Well, you said it. Yeah, I was gonna say east. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bloody hell. Galicia. Um. The north. Central. No, it's it's like, am I asking you? It's, it's in the... <laughs> it's like, oh, so what's your opinion on the Bermuda Triangle then? Bermuda Triangle? Because that's like whole boats disappearing. Fuck off, Jack. No, so... It's like whole boats disappearing. So I've watched this video on this. Do you guys... Have you guys watched any sort of... I suppose you probably Power watched Rangers. the videos. Power Rangers. It was on Scooby-Doo once. Turbocharged. As a, As a Power Rangers no, Turbocharged? No, I, I, I suppose... They go the Bermuda Triangle. I suppose you guys probably, when you're on YouTube, do you, you click the videos that are like proof of mermaids or proof of the Bermuda Triangle and stuff like this. I click the ones that's like... Bermuda Triangle, really? I so watched, I watched one of them. I mean, I just watched Joe Rogan shit. I watched the Bermuda Triangle, really? Joe Rogan's podcast episode yeah. of of this yeah. of this uh, YouTube. Any Bravo conspiracy? <laughs> um, and he was basically talking about how um, a lot of the um, stuff that's kind of people say because obviously the, the Bermuda Triangle, there are some very famous stories from it. Of, of people going missing. But it's scientifically proven it, like, fucks nah, up. Nah, 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 nah. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Look at it, it isn't. Pe- people said that because it's just like, oh, no, it isn't, it isn't anything weird or creepy or aliens or anything. It's just satellites and stuff and it messes with it. It's not even that. There are just as many disappearances all over the place, but people just like giving little stories to stuff. And there was, like, there was, it was, it, this thing happened where there were basically, there's a lot of ships that go through that place. So it's yeah. just, yeah. Prob- probability-wise, it's just likely that stuff like that happens. But there was, there was, like, there were, there were some stories that were, basically, the Bermuda Triangle is a triangle that you can make between the island of Bermuda, some port in Miami, or some somewhere in Florida, and then another Caribbean island. And, like, a lot, a lot of the disappearances that are apparently to do with the Bermuda Triangle, they just go through the Bermuda Triangle. They don't actually disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. It's just, like, and it is, like, a slightly more dangerous area because it's where you go out of the Gulf of Mexico and into the Atlantic Ocean. But it's, it's just, just based like, on currents? It's just probably... But even... Yeah, actually, like currents and storms and seas and yeah, stuff, it, it is a, a dangerous place to it, go. If you actually take so into you'd, account... you'd happily go there? It, oh, 100... Oh, easy peasy. If you would take into account, like, the... Can so, can, I'm not... What? An, the, an, anchor, can you sponsor Rennie to go on trip to the Bermuda Triangle? The Bermuda Triangle <laughs> isn't, like... My vlog to the it, Bermuda it Triangle. It isn't, I've, I've been through the Bermuda Triangle. When? I've been to Florida. And when you fly to Florida, you go through the Bermuda Triangle oh, in the air. Oh, interesting. About the flying, what do you think about, like, you know when entire planes just go missing and right. they never find... Like Malaysia. Oh, my God, the Malaysia flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so that, which one? Two of them that is so there. creepy. The, how do you no, get the Malaysia, entire the Malaysia planes to go missing seven, without any... Seven, two of them went missing, didn't they? Malaysia yeah, yeah, flight yeah. 770 um, or something. Two Malaysian, 740. two Malaysian flights went missing within, like... Yeah. Same year. Yeah, but it was the the, the the one the one bet there was the one, one that got shot down in Russia wasn't that Malaysian as well? N- that was oh no, it was Ukrainian or something like that. It got shot down in Russia, but I don't. Um, it I don't no, think, I think it was Malaysia. It, was Malaysia no, it, it got shot down in Ukraine. Yeah, it was shot oh. down in the Ukraine, but it was a Malaysian flight from like. Uh, Netherlands or wherever to Malaysia. Oh, so, that's weird. Well, there's like another plane that went like completely just missing. Fragments of it washed up on the beach, and they like sourced yeah, it like and they matched it with the same model airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same it, model. It, 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 it's airplane. we've now proved it that because people were so, were at first were like, oh, aliens, because we can't find it, but they were probably just looking in the wrong place. Basically, what happened was, um, they were like tracking it, and um, the, basically the, the communication that happens between like airplane uh, pilots and the like air, the, 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 the control it's like w- w- when you when you leave in a country's airspace you give them like a little bye-bye message and then when you enter in the next country's airspace you give them like a hello message they gave them the, the goodbye message and then it went off and it was like pretty unlikely that because you're supposed to basically wherever the border is you're supposed to just say goodbye and then say hello straight away so they said goodbye and then two minutes later before saying hello to um the people in homin city or whatever it is in vietnam that they were supposed to be saying hello to it took a slight turn to the right and then a big turn to the left 
like as it like as if you were turning a car left or something, which you don't have to do for a plane, obviously, because you've not got anything around you. So it was like some weird stuff going on, and then on the actual flight, like when they when they were like beaming signals to the plane, which just happens all the time, the altitude of it's like changing drastically. That he, like it shouldn't. I'm not sure if the guy was just trying to, like the pilot was just trying to kill these people in like the most horrific way possible of just going well, all evidence. the way up and then all the way down and all the way up and all the way down. But it's most likely that he just glitched out and that it wasn't showing the right readings because it was going like the the plane was going up and down and up and down. But they never that. found the black box, did they? Didn't find the black box. The tran uh, the transponders, which are the things that send the messages, got manually turned off. So you just you just reckon it was a pilot fucking? I reckon. Mission. I don't know. I don't know. It flew, See, it, things like it, that bothers me about never knowing. Yeah, you never exactly. Know. Oh my god, I hate it. And like, but it makes me so as like as horrible as it is. I really want to listen to like black boxes, like for planes. Like there is a website that you can do that on. You know. Yeah, that would really yeah, fuck with you. Though, wouldn't wouldn't it? It? There is the, 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 there's a website called like Last Words or something where it's like just the black box there's last a, transmitted message before planes go down. Have any of you been on documenting reality? No. Yeah. That's like a website where they post like pictures of like graphic murders and stuff oh no I don't, i'm not about that I, I like the whole mysteriousness of like disappearances of stuff but when it comes out in a couple of years because of technology that they've just found that it was just the guy who was a crazy person and wanted to kill everyone then i'm just gonna like not want to hear the story again because it just made me feel sad but it's when it's a mystery it's just like i'm so intrigued by it that that one flight i've watched so many videos on that flight i can, I can i've got mm. like all the details in my head M. all right scooby doo what was the flight <laughs> m flight m scooby no. one scooby seven m seventeen <laughs> M M M eight seven zero M eight seven zero, I think. Shall I Google it? Boeing flight Malaysia eight seven zero. I think. I just get really frustrated about not knowing because it's like I will never know whether or not that was you know something fucking with the plane or if that was just Him. the guy mm. like just fucking with. Is this it. just based on the Malaysian one or just based on any conspiracy? Well, any conspiracy really because the, the fact of being completely in the unknown and having to either completely put faith in whether you believe it or not or mm -hmm. what happened in, just the amount of things you will never know really frustrates me. Anyway, it was Malaysia Airlines Flight I 370. I got a picture of Malaysia box, Airlines so. Flight 370. Do you mm. believe that 9-11 was an inside job and that was the FBI? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I don't because people why was, saw a plane why was the whole floor of the FBI given the day off that day I don't know coincidence I don't know maybe they just don't tip yeah, it might not have been burn buildings it, it might not have been an inside <laughs> job but they might have also not beams. been able to pre they might have, they might have known about it but not been able to prevent it due to the nature of like obviously with them in civilians and stuff mm. oh yeah true see not everything's just about Conspiracy theories, James. Coronavirus is a conspiracy theory. It's started I saw by a government. A bit in China. of the um, North Tower today. It's What's in the Imperial War Museum. What's the North? Oh, what? There's a bit of the. Yeah, North there's like tower a beam. It's like a Imperial. steel window segment. Hmm. It's quite interesting. Oh, as I say, have you been to the actual uh, Ground Zero? No. Oh. Isn't doesn't doesn't one of you have like a little bit of the um, building wall on your keychain or something? Oh. It's, it's like a magnet. My brother got me it from Berlin. Yeah. Yeah, Ground Zero is proper like. Is that where it happened? Wood. Yeah, weird. It's like, it's got like a memorial there. It's like yeah. two it's massive got... fountains, isn't it? Yeah. Like water. Things. It's got everyone's name on it as well. Like yeah. in the shape of the towers. One of my mates' dads died in it. Nowhere. Yeah. Trying Have you not to. Have you not watched the movie on it? No. Or documentary. I, I would too. It made me too sad. I can't it's be asked. Um, I stick. I, 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 stay, I stick to ghost stories because I think it's fake. So. Did you know? Keeps it lighthearted. Oh, who's the guy that makes Family Guy? Um, Seth. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. Did you know he was meant he to was be? Meant to be, he was meant there were so flight. many people that no, he, he, like he, he was too hung over. Must be on the plane. Yeah, he was too hung over to fly that day. Wasn't it like an, an economy plane? Or oh, well, yeah, I suppose maybe at the time plane, he wasn't famous. But planes also have first class. All right, okay, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, he, was, he was meant to be on the plane, but he was too hung over. Loads of famous people flight. were meant to be. Michael on oh Jackson was meant to be on it. Well, the most famous person in the world at the time is supposed to be on a plane. Yeah. That's just like got like random I'm sure people he on was it. In economy he, class. He, he, he hasn't got like a fat. He would have a private jet. That's where all the little kids are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, James, <laughs> you make my editing work so much harder. He was saving the children. No, 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 no. He was just trying to find them. It's fine. No, no, no. It's fine. <sighs> okay, is that everyone's stories? Yeah. Do you have any stories done? Um, I, w I, I had a story about, well, no, I, I, I was watching, you can now watch, I'm not sure if it was originally published on, uh, or broadcast on TV, but there's a, uh, there's a show that you can now watch on YouTube, um, that's called, uh, The Haunted London Underground or something like that, or Ghosts on the Underground or something, and it's just like loads of people's accounts of, what? Your levels have just gone really high. For have, I, have they? 
Oh, that's hello. Awesome. They sound all right for me. Have you yeah, messed with right, you? Mate. Well, they sound normal, but they did go higher, didn't they? Hello. No, it's fine. I think I'm fine. What happened? I don't know. What were you talking about? What, it's... what was? Oh, I was it's... talking about the ghost on the underground. Oh, the ghost on the James, underground here. Fuck off. Oh, 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 he was messing with the volume. James, he thought he was having a paranormal experience. He thought the ghosts were messing with the nah. volume. Whoa. <laughs> nah. As per usual, I would just like to say if at any point there are any ghosts in this room, if you want to just quickly make yourself known, that would make us really famous and make the show go viral. I'll just give you a second. Do it for the clout, man. <laughs> no. Maybe they can't get through the... Um, the brick comes the through sound. the window. Whoa! Maybe, maybe they can't get through the soundproof walls of the uh, studio. Has anyone else got any stories that they want to share? It's got really cold um, all of a sudden. It's got, got the chills. I see what mum said? Because she did send me loads of stories. Yeah. My sister had a story. Would you actually be scared if you saw a ghost? Would I be scared if I saw a ghost? I'd be, like, oh, running so away. So I'd be so scared. This, I, I think I just got I don't really believe in this. Yeah, I'd be like, what the f- I'd be like, fuck. Okay, James has got a story he doesn't believe in. What? Oh, Jack's got a story he doesn't believe in. Where, Jack's where, got a story he doesn't believe in. He's best friends. I like, this how, is a, this I like is how, how he never calls me Jack, he just calls you James. This has only just started oh, to happen. Like it's only just started to happen. It's because anyway. I'm getting closer to James, he's very attractive. So, Sorry. Um, that's what the group six gets. Keep it PG myself. clean, guys, come on. As I mentioned earlier, my granddad died like seven or eight years ago. Yeah. And for some reason, we sort of relate a feather to him, like a white feather. Mm-hmm. Like, if we see a white feather, we sort of think... Like he's there. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, if it's it was. A, is there any particular reason for that? I think that's where coming. Well, thing. it's sort of. I don't know. You told the story in the first. There one, used so. there was a feather on the chair where I used to sit in the conservatory, and also when I moved into uni, there was a feather in my box. Like, if it, if there's a big thing happening, like big events, so mm. it always seems to be a white feather there. Right. Did you not tell a story in the first week? Sorry. Did I? No, 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 no. You didn't. Either. I don't think I have because no, I'm I'm a bit skeptic over Maybe it. Cause I'm like, well, it's a white feather. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, I'm sorry. But it just it seems to happen in like. If it's his birthday, we'd find like a random white feather where there wouldn't mm. be like why would there be a white feather like in the house like yeah that's and kind it, of a nice thing though it is I nice. like stuff like that like but I don't know if I believe in it maybe I do mm. but there's on my yeah. you know in my room there's all those pictures mm-hmm. there's a picture of me and my granddad and there's the white feather where mm. when I moved in and I put it next to the picture oh that's so cute I like to think it's but I don't know maybe it's not true or not but. See, I like stuff like that because it's, it's not its not like, you know, oh, did someone get haunted or whatever. It's just something light-hearted that you can subtle. either believe it or not, but either way, it's just, I just nice. It'd be a nice thing to end the show on. Sort so, so, so of the same thing of your connection with with, with your great-grandma, maybe, of you yeah, being able yeah. to point her out and say that you've had a conversation with her. It's just nice to, to maybe, even if um, even if it's a bit difficult to, for some people to believe, maybe it's just nice. Even if it's just you that believes it, my grandma, I know, has a lot of stuff like that. But look, we've come full circle. We've just had a story that, again, um, relates to someone being close to their family and I'm happy to end the podcast with that we've come nice all the way around nice, bit of wholesome nice message wholesome so, if anything we're wholesome yeah. unlike the nine grand a year podcast don't listen to them um we apologize for the irregularity <laughs> of uploading these yep that's my fault um just just got a lot going on it takes a long time to edit these podcasts um, sleep 90% of the time. and I just I just I don't want to just rush them out and I thought maybe if we just uh, leave one week then it'll give me a lot of time to just actually make these podcasts uh, really good instead of just rushing them out. So thank you for uh, dealing with that. And thank you all for listening. Thank you for my co-stars for being here once again. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Cole, for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Nice to be here. You've had an absolutely Um, incredible story that's blown all our minds. Thank you for the ghosts for being here. You can now leave. Um, (laughs) Anyway, thank you, everyone, for for listening. (laughs)